Generalization of the preceding problem. Suppose that in the preceding problem, the magnetic moment of A had the value 2 mu0. Now calculate the ratio P minus P plus of the probabilities that this moment points down or up. So, okay, we, we will generalize this problem. Uh, so let's start with uh, what has changed. So uh, I note that if uh, the moment of A points up, uh, that means I'm going to have a magnetic moment of system A to mu zero plus to mu zero. And A prime, I have N up, N prime moments down. So M prime will be again N minus N prime mu zero or 2n minus capital N mu zero so that has not changed however the total magnetic moment m star has changed so m star is now uh, 2 mu zero m plus m prime which is uh, 2 mu zero plus 2n minus capital N mu zero and you can see that this is basically uh, 2 n plus 1 minus capital N mu 0. So instead of 2n minus n, I have 2n plus 2 minus capital N, so that I can accommodate this plus 2 mu 0 here. And correspondingly, E star, which is the total energy E plus E prime, is again minus m star uh, b it's a constant okay uh, you can see that in order to uh, obey this constraint so basically I, I, I have this constraint that m star has to be uh, 2 n plus 2 minus capital N mu 0. So uh, for the probability of having a up spins, remember I have to calculate the uh, up moments, the number of states accessible to the system when a, a moment points up, uh, then I have a n moments out of capital N moments pointing up. So this has not changed. So this is still combinations of n objects taken n at a time. And also uh, for omega minus, now I have to consider what happens if uh, A points down. On the other hand, if A uh, points down, a moment points down then I would have m is equal to minus 2 mu 0 okay so in that case uh, the from the constraint that the total moment must be a constant I have m prime must be m star minus capital M so this would be 2n plus 2 minus n mu 0 plus 2 mu 0. So that means I would have 2n plus 4. So m prime would be uh, 2n plus 4 minus capital N uh, mu 0. In other words, it would be 2n plus 2 minus capital N mu zero. So that implies that uh, N plus two uh, moments up and N prime minus two moments pointing down. So that means the number of states accessible to the system uh, for this scenario where I have the A moment pointing down will be combinations of capital N objects taken n plus 2 
at a time. So we can calculate the ratio of the uh, probabilities. Uh, the probabilities P plus is equal to once again omega plus divided by omega total and for P minus I have omega minus over omega total the equal a priori probabilities postulate so the ratio P minus over P plus will be combinations of n objects taken n plus 2 at a time ratio combinations of n objects taken n at a time so this is uh, n factorial capital N factorial n plus 2 factorial capital N minus n plus 2 factorial uh, on the other hand here I have capital N factorial n factorial capital N minus n uh, factorial so once again these capital N factorials uh, disappear and I can write this uh, ratio as um, n factorial n factorial capital N minus n capital N minus n minus 1 and it will be capital N minus n minus 2 factorial and then I have at the bottom uh, n plus 2 n plus 1 n factorial and again capital N minus n minus 2 factorial so these two will uh, cancel and then I have uh, the n factorials disappearing so I will find that this ratio p minus to p plus ratio would become uh, capital N minus N capital N minus N minus 1 divided by N plus 2 N plus 1 uh, which can also be written as since capital N minus N is N prime N prime N prime minus 1 N plus 1 n plus 2 so there are two ways to uh, express this result uh, now if I have n prime much greater than 1 n much greater than 1 then what would happen to this ratio p minus to p plus ratio it would be n prime n prime minus 1 would become n prime and n plus 1 is approximately n n plus 2 is approximately n so this would be approximately equal to n prime over n squared Okay, so let's take a look. We're generalizing the preceding problem. Calculate again the ratio P minus to P plus of the probabilities that this moment points down or up. Uh, the, the change is that the magnetic moment of A is now 2 mu zero. So if it is 2 mu zero, the total magnetic moment becomes 2 N plus 1 minus capital N mu zero. Uh, because a prime has n moments pointing on n prime pointing down and each moment has uh, a value of mu zero <clears throat> the total energy will be equal to minus m star uh, times b so m star is a constant so this is a constant that is the constraint uh, so that a plus a prime a star is isolated has constant 
total energy. The number of states accessible to a star, the total system, is the, the number of different ways we can arrange uh, n objects out of capital N objects. So combinations of n objects, uh, capital N objects, taken n at a time. And if a moment points down, the magnetic moment is minus 2 mu0, then the magnetic moment of the prime system would be uh, instead of 2n plus 1 minus n, 2n plus 2 minus n. So, n, uh, so we would have, uh, or instead of 2n minus a capital N, it will become 2n plus 2 minus capital N, mu0. So it would have n plus 2 moments pointing up and n prime minus 2 moments pointing down. So that means we're looking for the number of different ways we can arrange n plus 2 objects out of capital N objects uh, for the number of accessible states. Since the probabilities are uh, equal to the number of accessible states that obeys the constraint uh, divided by the total number of accessible states according to our postulate of equal a priori probabilities, uh, then the ratio of the probabilities will be the ratio of combinations of capital N, N objects taken N plus at a time divided by taken N at a time. So this ratio, as we have seen here, is uh, N prime, N prime minus 1 over N plus 1, N plus 2. And in the limit, N and N prime are much greater than 1. It simply becomes N prime over N squared.